Steve McQueen, known as the King of Cool, was a dominant force in Hollywood during the 1960s and 1970s. His magnetic screen presence and anti-hero roles in films like Bullet and The Great Escape made him a cinematic legend. And The Great Escape made him a cinematic legend. However, his fierce personality and desire to control the screen led to conflicts with some costers. Behind the scenes, McQueen's demanding nature often clashed with the egos of his fellow actors. For instance, his feud with co-star Yul Brynner during the filming of The Magnificent Seven is the stuff of Hollywood legend. Similarly, tensions between McQueen and Paul Newman during the making of Towering Inferno are well documented. These stories of on-set rivalries offer a glimpse into the complex personality of this classic Hollywood star. In this video, we'll explore some of McQueen's most famous co-star feuds and the impact they had on his career and their own. So, let's delve into the off-screen dynamics of this enigmatic star and the actors who had less than flattering things to say about him. The relationship between actors Paul Newman and Steve McQueen was a complex one, filled with both mutual respect and professional rivalry. Both men were accomplished in their field, with Newman being an established star and McQueen rapidly rising to fame. Their shared passion for racing further fueled their competitive spirit. In the late 1960s, the two actors were considered for the lead roles in the film Butch Cassidy and The Sundance Kid. However, McQueen left the project due to a dispute over top billing. This decision only served to heighten the rivalry between the two men, as Newman went on to star in the film alongside Robert Redford. Despite their past disagreements, the two actors eventually co-starred in the 1974 film The Towering Inferno. In an effort to reflect their equal star status, the film's screen time and billing were meticulously balanced. This was a departure from the traditional Hollywood hierarchy, where leading actors were often given more screen time and top billing. The filming of The Towering Inferno was a significant event in the world of cinema, as it marked the first time that two such prominent actors shared top billing in a film. The production was a massive undertaking with a budget of $14 million and a cast that included Fred Astaire, Jennifer Jones, and O.J. Simpson. In the film, Newman and McQueen play architect and fire chief respectively, who must work together to save the occupants of a burning skyscraper. Despite their characters' differences, the two actors were able to put their rivalry aside and deliver strong performances. The Towering Inferno was a critical and commercial success, grossing over $116 million at the box office and earning three Academy Awards. The film's success solidified Newman and McQueen's status as two of Hollywood's leading actors, and their collaboration in the film remains a classic example of their shared talent and professionalism. In conclusion, the relationship between Paul Newman and Steve McQueen was marked by both rivalry and respect. Their shared passion for racing and acting led to a number of significant moments in their careers, including their collaboration in The Towering Inferno. Despite their past disagreements, the two actors were able to put aside their rivalry and deliver strong performances in the film, which remains a classic example of their talent and professionalism. The relationship between actors James Garner and Steve McQueen was marked by a mix of professional rivalry and personal reservations. Despite working together in the classic film The Great Escape, their interactions off-screen were noticeably distant. Garner was known to critique McQueen's acting abilities, once commenting that he was more of a movie star than a trained actor. Garner even accused McQueen of imitating his style, suggesting a level of tension between the two. Despite Garner's criticisms, McQueen's star power was undeniable. He quickly became one of the most popular actors of his time, known for his rugged good looks and intense on-screen presence. However, Garner's comments highlight the difference between being a movie star and a trained actor, suggesting that McQueen may have relied more on his natural charisma than on formal acting techniques. Despite their shared screen space in The Great Escape, the two actors' paths did not cross frequently outside of work. McQueen was known for his reclusive personality, while Garner was more sociable. This difference in personalities may have contributed to the limited interactions between the two actors. In the end, the relationship between Garner and McQueen was defined by their professional rivalry and personal reservations. While they may not have been close friends, their work together in The Great Escape remains a classic example of their respective talents and enduring legacy in the world of film. The feud between Yul Brynner and Steve McQueen during the filming of The Magnificent Seven is well documented. McQueen, a relatively new actor at the time, was eager to make his mark and reportedly employed various tactics to steal the spotlight. 
These tactics included stealing scenes by subtly upstaging Brenner, who played the lead role in the film. Brenner, a seasoned actor, was not about to let McQueen overshadow him. In response to McQueen's scene-stealing antics, Brenner demanded that certain scenes be reshot to ensure that he remained the clear focus. The tension between the two actors was palpable on set, and it was reported that Brenner even went so far as to wear lifts in his boots to assert his dominance over McQueen. The rivalry between the two actors extended beyond the film, with both men publicly criticizing each other in the press. McQueen once referred to Brenner as that bald-headed son of a bitch, while Brenner accused McQueen of being a glory hound who was more interested in promoting himself than in contributing to the success of the film. Despite their animosity towards each other, both actors delivered strong performances in The Magnificent Seven. The film remains a classic of the Western genre, and the intense competition between Brenner and McQueen only served to heighten the on-screen drama. In the end, the feud between Brenner and McQueen was a reflection of the intense competition for on-screen dominance that exists in the world of acting. Both men were determined to establish themselves as leading actors, and their rivalry was a testament to the drive, an ambition that is required to succeed in the entertainment industry. After Steve McQueen's untimely death in 1980, his estate quickly became the center of various controversies. The main point of contention was the rights to the actor's likeness and image, which his heirs have been vigilant in protecting. One notable legal action involved Ferrari, as the company used McQueen's name without authorization, leading to a lawsuit. This case highlights the complexities of preserving the legacy of an iconic figure while managing commercial interests. McQueen's estate has been the subject of numerous legal disputes due to the unauthorized use of his image and likeness. His heirs have been proactive in defending his legacy, ensuring that his name and likeness are not exploited without permission. The legal battles surrounding the estate demonstrate the enduring appeal of McQueen's image and the importance of protecting the rights of public figures even after their death. One of the most high-profile cases involved Ferrari, which used McQueen's name in a marketing campaign without obtaining the necessary permissions. The actor's heirs took legal action, asserting their rights to his likeness and image. The lawsuit underscored the complexities of managing the commercial interests of a deceased celebrity as well as the importance of respecting the rights of public figures and their estates. The management of Steve McQueen's estate serves as a reminder of the challenges faced by those responsible for preserving the legacy of iconic figures. Balancing the desire to protect an individual's image and likeness with the need to manage commercial interests can be a difficult task. However, by taking a proactive approach to protecting McQueen's legacy, his heirs have ensured that his name and likeness are not exploited without permission preserving his enduring appeal for future generations. Born Terence Stephen McQueen in 1930, Steve McQueen rose to become one of Hollywood's most iconic actors. Known for his rugged good looks and intense performances, McQueen quickly became a symbol of cool in the 1960s and 70s. His career began in the New York City theater scene before he made his way to Hollywood. McQueen's breakout role came in 1958 with the film The Blob, where he played a teenager who battles a mysterious alien substance. From there, McQueen's star continued to rise, and he became known for his roles in classic films such as The Great Escape, Bullet, and The Thomas Crown Affair. He was nominated for an Academy Award for his performance in The Sand Pebbles, and won a Golden Globe for Papillon. Off-screen McQueen was just as cool as his on-screen persona. He was an avid race car driver and motorcycle enthusiast, often competing in races and even founding his own motorcycle racing team. Despite his success, McQueen remained humble and grounded. He was known for his generosity and kindness, often going out of his way to help others. Steve McQueen's legacy continues to live on, not only through his films, but also through his impact on popular culture. His rugged, cool persona has been imitated by countless actors and celebrities, and his influence can still be seen today. In an industry built on dreams, Steve McQueen turned those dreams into reality. Steve McQueen, born on March 24, 1930, in Beach Grove, Indiana, had a challenging upbringing. His father was largely absent, and his mother struggled with alcoholism and gambling. At the age of 12, McQueen's mother left him in the care of his uncle in Slater, Missouri. These early experiences shaped his resilient and independent personality. McQueen's introduction to acting came unexpectedly during his time in the United States Marine Corps. While serving, he took an acting course that sparked his interest in the craft. After his military discharge, he decided to pursue acting full-time, 
and rolling at the Neighborhood Playhouse in New York City in 1952. One of McQueen's key mentors was actor and acting coach Samford Meisner. Under Meisner's guidance, McQueen honed his craft, learning to channel his emotions and experiences into his performances. Meisner's emphasis on authenticity and emotional truth had a profound impact on McQueen's acting style. Another influential figure in McQueen's life was his first wife, Neil Adams, a dancer and actress. Adams encouraged McQueen to take acting seriously and supported him throughout his career. Their relationship provided a stable foundation for McQueen as he navigated the ups and downs of Hollywood. In addition to his mentors and loved ones, McQueen found inspiration in the work of other actors. He admired the stoic, anti-hero performances of actors like Gary Cooper and James Cagney. McQueen's own rugged, rebellious image was influenced by these early Hollywood stars. Throughout his career, Steve McQueen remained deeply committed to his craft. His early experiences, coupled with the guidance of his mentors and the inspiration of his peers, helped shape him into one of the most iconic actors of his time. Growing up in a troubled family, Steve McQueen found solace in movies. As a young boy, he would sneak into movie theaters where he became captivated by the magic of acting. He dropped out of school at 13 and joined a traveling circus, but his passion for acting never wavered. After serving in the Marines during the Korean War, McQueen used the GI Bill to study acting at the prestigious Neighborhood Playhouse in New York City. It was there that he discovered his true passion for the craft. His acting coach, Sanford Meisner, recognized McQueen's raw talent and pushed him to explore his emotions and develop his unique style. McQueen's big break came in 1958 when he was cast in the TV series Wanted Dead or Alive. The show became a massive hit and McQueen quickly became a household name. However, he never forgot his roots and continued to study and hone his craft. In 1963, McQueen starred in The Great Escape, which solidified his status as a Hollywood icon. Despite his success, McQueen remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to push himself and explore new roles, earning critical acclaim for his performances in films like The Sand Pebbles and Bullet. Throughout his career, McQueen remained true to his passion for acting. He once said, I'm not sure what makes acting so special to me, but there's nothing else I'd rather do. And it was this unwavering dedication and love for his craft that made Steve McQueen one of the greatest actors of all time. Steve McQueen, a name synonymous with rugged charm and magnetic screen presence, faced numerous obstacles on his path to stardom. Born in 1930 to a broken family, McQueen's early life was marred by financial struggles and instability. To make ends meet, he took on various jobs, including that of a towel boy in a brothel. Despite his humble beginnings, McQueen's innate talent and determination led him to enroll in the Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater in New York City. However, his time there was short-lived due to a lack of funds. Undeterred, McQueen turned to odd jobs once again, working as a lumberjack, oil rigger, and even a circus tumbler. In the early 1950s, McQueen decided to give acting another shot. He joined the United States Marine Corps, where he discovered his passion for performing in front of an audience. After his honorable discharge, he returned to New York City, determined to build a career in acting. However, the entertainment industry was not eager to embrace this newcomer. Skeptical of his background and rough exterior, casting directors often overlooked McQueen. In response, he honed his craft at the actor's studio, studying under the tutelage of renowned acting coach Sanford Meisner. McQueen's persistence paid off when he landed a role in the hit television series Wanted Dead or Alive. His portrayal of bounty hunter Josh Randall catapulted him to stardom and paved the way for a successful film career. Throughout his journey, Steve McQueen demonstrated resilience and resourcefulness. He turned obstacles into opportunities, transforming his life experiences into a powerful and enduring legacy. His story serves as a testament to the power of determination and the human spirit. In 1958, a young man named Steve McQueen stepped into the world of acting, marking the beginning of a captivating journey. His breakthrough moment came with the 1960 film, The Magnificent Seven, where he played a role that resonated with audiences and critics alike. This groundbreaking project propelled him into the spotlight, establishing him as a rising star in Hollywood. McQueen's performance in The Magnificent Seven caught the attention of peers and critics who praised his ability to convey raw emotion and intensity on screen. His portrayal of Vin Tanner, a troubled gunfighter, showcased his versatility and intriguing screen presence. The film's director, John Sturges, was particularly impressed by McQueen's talent, 
stating he had a certain quality, a charisma that was absolutely unique. In 1963, McQueen delivered another powerful performance in The Great Escape, which further solidified his status as a leading man. His portrayal of Captain Virgil Hiltz, a cool and resourceful prisoner of war, earned him critical acclaim and enduring fame. The film's director, John Sturgis, once again recognized McQueen's prowess, stating he was a consummate professional, always prepared and dedicated to his craft. By the mid-1960s, McQueen had become a household name with his rugged good looks and intense acting style captivating audiences worldwide. His contributions to the world of cinema left an indelible mark, and his legacy continues to resonate with fans and industry professionals alike. As McQueen's career progressed, he continued to push boundaries and take on challenging roles. His work in films such as Bullet and The Thomas Crown Affair further cemented his reputation as a versatile and accomplished actor. To this day, his impact on the industry remains palpable as his groundbreaking performances continue to inspire and influence a new generation of actors. Steve McQueen, the actor, was known for his rugged good looks and intense acting style, but his process was far from typical. He was born on March 24, 1930, in Beach Grove, Indiana, and his early life was marked by hardship and abandonment. These experiences shaped his worldview and informed his work. McQueen was drawn to complex, morally ambiguous characters. He often played anti-heroes, men who were equal parts charming and dangerous. His approach to these roles was intuitive and instinctual. He once said, I'm not a method actor. I just try to be truthful. This commitment to authenticity made his performances compelling and unforgettable. One of McQueen's most iconic roles was in the 1968 film Bullet, where he played a tough, no-nonsense cop. The film is perhaps best known for its thrilling car chase scene, which was revolutionary for its time. But McQueen brought more to the role than just action star prowess. His character was a man of few words, but McQueen's subtle facial expressions and body language conveyed a depth of emotion that made the character resonate with audiences. McQueen's personal experiences also influenced his work behind the camera. He directed and starred in the 1972 film The Getaway, which was based on a novel by Jim Thompson. McQueen was drawn to the story's exploration of violence, greed, and redemption. He saw himself in the character of Doc McCoy, a man who is willing to do whatever it takes to provide for his family. Despite his success, McQueen remained humble and grounded. He was known for his generosity and kindness, and he was fiercely loyal to his friends and colleagues. He passed away on November 7, 1980, but his legacy continues to inspire and influence actors and filmmakers today. In conclusion, Steve McQueen's artistic vision and process were shaped by his personal experiences and worldview. He brought a unique authenticity and intensity to his roles, and his work continues to resonate with audiences today. Steve McQueen, a name synonymous with cool, left an indelible mark on the film industry. Known for his anti-hero roles, he brought a unique blend of toughness and vulnerability to the screen. According to Robert Osborne, former host of Turner Classic Movies, McQueen had a rare quality. He could be incredibly charismatic, but also very subtle. His influence extended beyond acting. McQueen was known for performing many of his own stunts, which led to a new trend in action films. As director Quentin Tarantino noted, McQueen brought a new level of authenticity to action scenes. He raised the bar for what actors were expected to do. Moreover, McQueen's style influenced fashion trends. His rugged yet sophisticated look, often featuring a simple white t-shirt and leather jacket, became a cultural icon. Designer Tom Ford even cited McQueen as a major influence, stating McQueen had an effortless cool that's still relevant today. In terms of storytelling, McQueen often chose roles that challenged the status quo. His characters were often outsiders, reflecting his own troubled youth. This resonated with audiences and paved the way for more complex character development in future films. McQueen's impact is still felt today. His influence can be seen in the work of modern actors like Daniel Craig and Ryan Gosling, who share his rugged charm and subtle acting style. His legacy continues to inspire new generations of filmmakers and actors, ensuring that his influence will endure. Steve McQueen, the renowned actor, was known for his love of motorcycles and cars. He often spent his free time racing and collecting vehicles. This passion for speed and machinery would often find its way into his work, with many of his most iconic roles featuring high-speed car chases and daring stunts. But McQueen's interests extended beyond just racing and acting. 
He was also deeply committed to various philanthropic efforts throughout his life. He was particularly passionate about helping children in need. In 1979, he established the Steve McQueen Foundation, which raised funds for children's hospitals and other charitable organizations. McQueen's personal values and interests also informed his work as an actor. He was known for playing tough, rugged characters who live life on the edge. This was a reflection of his own independent and adventurous spirit. McQueen was not afraid to take on challenging roles or to speak his mind about issues that mattered to him. Despite his tough exterior, McQueen was also known for his softer side. He had a deep love for animals and was often seen with his dogs on set. He also had a strong sense of loyalty and friendship and was known to go out of his way to help those in need. In short, Steve McQueen was a complex and multifaceted individual whose personal values and interests shaped his work as an actor and his philanthropic efforts. His legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Steve McQueen left an undeniable mark on the film industry. Known for his rugged charm and intense performances, he became a symbol of cool in the 1960s and 70s. His work in films like The Great Escape, Bullet, and The Thomas Crown Affair solidified his status as a Hollywood legend. Even today, his legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors. For those looking to follow in his footsteps, McQueen would likely offer some timeless advice. First, he might encourage them to hone their craft and take their work seriously. McQueen was known for his dedication to acting, often spending hours perfecting his lines and movements. He believed that the key to success was hard work and a deep understanding of the characters being portrayed. Additionally, McQueen might advise aspiring actors to be selective about the roles they choose. He was known for turning down roles that didn't resonate with him, preferring to wait for projects that truly excited him. This approach allowed him to create a body of work that was both diverse and cohesive, showcasing his range as an actor, while also staying true to his personal brand. Finally, McQueen might encourage aspiring actors to stay grounded and true to themselves. Despite his fame and fortune, he remained humble and down-to-earth throughout his career. He believed that success should never go to your head and that it was important to stay connected to the world around you. As for the future of the film industry, McQueen might look to the innovations and changes on the horizon with a mixture of excitement and caution. On one hand, he might be thrilled by the opportunities presented by new technologies like virtual reality and motion capture. On the other hand, he might worry about the impact of these technologies on the art of acting and the potential for them to overshadow the human element of storytelling. Ultimately, McQueen would likely encourage those in the industry to embrace change while also staying true to the core principles of acting. He might remind them that the most important thing is to tell compelling stories that resonate with audiences and to do so with authenticity, passion, and a deep understanding of the human condition. Steve McQueen's journey in the entertainment industry was nothing short of passionate and innovative. Born in 1930, McQueen's early life was marked by hardship, which he transformed into a driving force for his career. He started in television before transitioning to film, where he quickly gained recognition for his rugged charm and intense performances. McQueen's work was groundbreaking, pushing the boundaries of what was considered possible in cinema. His roles in films like The Great Escape, Bullet, and The Thomas Crown Affair showcased his versatility and cemented his status as a Hollywood icon. Despite his success, McQueen remained humble and dedicated to his craft, continually seeking out new challenges and opportunities to grow as an actor. Beyond his on-screen work, McQueen was also known for his off-screen pursuits. He was an avid race car driver, motorcycle enthusiast, and even tried his hand at directing. These passions infused his work, giving it a unique energy and authenticity that continues to resonate with audiences today. McQueen's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. He paved the way for future generations of actors and filmmakers, inspiring them to take risks and push the boundaries of their craft. His legacy is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, we can achieve great things. So, as we reflect on Steve McQueen's life and career, let us remember the importance of following our passions and pursuing our dreams. For it is through creativity and determination that we can leave our own indelible mark on the world. Let's take a moment to appreciate the work of Steve McQueen, the actor known for his rugged charm and compelling performances. With a career spanning over three decades, McQueen left an indelible mark on the film industry. In films like The Great Escape, Bullet, and The Thomas Crown Affair, McQueen's charisma 
and talent shown through capturing audiences hearts and minds his ability to portray complex emotions and his undeniable screen presence made him a standout in any role but McQueen's legacy extends beyond his on-screen performances he was a trailblazer in many ways pushing boundaries and challenging conventions his impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today as new generations discover his work and continue to be inspired by his talent now we'd love to hear from you what are your favorite Steve McQueen performances what do you think his legacy is in the world of entertainment? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and share this video to continue the conversation with fellow fans. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content celebrating the creative spirits who have shaped the entertainment industry. Together, let's continue to appreciate the artistry and impact of Steve McQueen and other legendary figures in the world of entertainment.